Welcome to Center for Online Education, Uttar Pradesh Rashidhanan Open University. Today, we are going to discuss about another topic in research methodology that is known as research ethics. As you all know that ethics is very important in our daily life because ethics tells us about what is wrong, what is right, what is good, what is bad, where we have to do the things or what the things we have to avoid. So, ethics are the set of rules that governs our expectation of our own and others behavior means it is something which lead to the behavior, it is something which is led to the rules and regulations. So, taking the behavior and doing the things as needed by the rules and regulations is known as ethics. Research ethics are the set of ethical guidelines that guides us on how scientific research should be conducted and disseminated means for each and every research whether it is scientific, social or any commercial research we have to follow ethics in each and every possible way which a research should, researcher should do. Research ethics governs the standards of conduct for scientific researchers, it is the guidelines for responsibly conducting the research. As I have told you that research ethics is all about what is right, what is wrong, what is good, what is bad, where we have to use the things, whether we have to avoid the things. Means it is a line of demarcation between what is good for the society, what we have to present and what is bad for the society and what we have to avoid because research is something we should be conducted for overall welfare of the society as a whole. Now objective of research ethics, why? Why we used to have research ethics in our work? First to guard, protect human participation, their dignity, rights and welfare. As you all know that research is being conducted in an environment and an environment is composed of different things, human beings, animals, everything which is being directly or indirectly related with the research should be taken into consideration. We have to see that the dignity of an individual or human being should be protected. We have to see that all the rights and welfares of human beings should be protected. Whatever we are doing, we have to do in a positive and in a constructive manner to make sure that researcher is directed in a manner that assists welfare of persons, groups or civilization as a whole. Means whatever research we are conducting, it should be for the welfare of the society, welfare of an individual, welfare of the civilization as a whole because whatever we are going to do has an impact on the society to inspect particular research events and schemes for their ethical reliability. Reliability is very important. Ethical reliability says that what is good should be accepted, what is bad should be avoided. In Guru Granth Sahib, they have said that main jit jag jit means if you are going to conquer yourself, you are conquer to the whole world. So same way for ethical consideration, a person should inspect himself that whatever he is presenting in his report should be for the welfare of the whole society. Then there are ethical principles of research. These principles are very important. They are the base for any of the research. First one is the integrity. Means the data you are taking, the person, the people, you should defend their integrity, you should maintain their integrity. Then competence, your competency says that whatever work you are going to do is rightly done, your data is fully transparent. Then non-maleficence means whatever you are doing hasn't have anything prohibited, you haven't have trimmed the data, you haven't have manipulated the data, the data you are presenting is the clear image, it is a transparent image which you are presenting to the society. Then justice, if you are going, if you are getting some answers which is true, you have to present in your research. 
should not be influenced by the society you should not be influenced by the higher authorities who are saying that you have to not present that thing if it is justifiable you have to present it justice should be done with all dignity a uh, researcher should maintain the dignity of the respondents researcher should maintain a dignity of the data he should not do anything malefic with the data so dignity should be maintained of each and every person who is directly or indirectly related with the research then confidential means you have to say that the person who wants to give his name should be presented but some people don't want to mention their name it should be avoided a researcher should see that a strict confidentiality is being maintained in his research work the military data should not be disclosed as it is for welfare for the society it is good for the country so military data should not be disclosed it should be protected you can use in your study but it should not be protected it should not be disclosed then privacy privacy is another important topic privacy means that whatever you are doing should be kept very private it should be said that all the respondent their personal information should not be shared with anyone it should not be presented in the report writing only the data which is useful for the analysis purpose we are going to take and use that data only autonomy autonomy is another important term means that whatever work we are going to do should be autonomous with the results it should have got an objectivity and according to that objectivity we are going to do our research work honesty a researcher should always adopt a honest approach towards the research work when he is collecting the data he should have a honest approach analysis portion he must have a honest approach he should avoid trimming of the data he should avoid misleading the facts which is not being considered in his research work so honesty with himself and honest to the society gives a good and truthful result in his research work responsibility a researcher should take all the responsibility of his work he is accountable whatever he is writing each and every word he is writing in his research should be a accountability and responsibility of a person who is conducting the research so these are the points we say that ethical research should have following principles so if you are going to follow these principle you are going to follow the research ethics next point five principles of research ethics means how you are going to say that research ethics is being followed in our research work the first one is minimize the risk of harm if you are conducting a research you are taking the uh, you are taking the response if you are conducting a research work you are taking the feedback from different people and the feedback you are taking from the different people respondent should be kept very secret privacy should be maintained it should be done in a manner that it should not harm the individual it should not harm the animals it should not harm the society so the first thing is that minimize the risk of harm the second one obtain informed consent if you are taking the feedback from the questionnaire from schedule anything you must have a proper consent if you are doing research on secondary data you must have a proper consent from the different organizations from where you are going to get the data a person should avoid taking raw data raw secondary data should be avoided a data which is not been published but you are taking it in the form of secondary data it should be avoided so these things must be avoided for research ethics then protect anonymity and confidentiality means here we must have to see that the data must be anonymous and the confidential data should be maintained with you it should not be open to all then avoid misleading practices a researcher should avoid any of the practices which leads to mislead 
the result as a whole misleading practices framing of the data manipulating the data giving data on your own sometimes you adopt a bias attitude and put your data on your own self so these are the malefic practices which a researcher should avoid he should have an ethics he should have morals and values in his research work if he is conducting a research on 500 respondent and he is getting only 350 respondent he should go with 350 he should not go with 500 manipulating with the data or trimming of the data should not be done then provide the right to withdraw a researcher should have a right to withdraw his research work in any of the step whenever that research work is harmful for the society or he feels that this research work is not fruitful for the society as a whole he should have a right to withdraw his work he should have a right that all the records which his research work has got should be withdrawn by himself advantages of research ethics research ethics promotes the aims of research ethics always promotes whatever objective whatever aim a researcher has got there are certain objectives which he has framed for his research work what he is targeting what he is aiming for so whenever a researcher adopts a proper ethical attitude moral and values towards his research work he is going to promote the aims and objectives of his research work then it increases trust among the researchers other and the respondents means here a researcher used to increase the trust among the respondents and the person who are directly involved with the research work it is important to adhere to ethics principle in order to protect the dignity rights and the welfare of research participants so all over who are directly related with the research work the participants of the research work the people who are there the respondents their dignity should be maintained their rights their welfare should be maintained so by the help of research ethics the dignity rights welfare of all the respondents should be properly maintained if a researcher is adopting a good research ethics automatically the respondents are very much aware that their privacy should be maintained by the researcher researchers can be held accountable and answerable for their actions as i have told you that responsibility and accountability goes side by side with the researcher he should be accountable and responsible for all the doings for all the writing he has made in his research work so whenever whatever he is writing the researcher is accountable the researcher is responsible and researcher is answerable for all the things which he is mentioning is his in his research work whatever actions he is doing for each and every action he is responsible accountable and answerable to the society ethics promotes social and moral values as we know that ethics is all about getting the best getting an idea of good and bad right and wrong so whenever a researcher is promoting an ethics his values and his morals used to increase his personal image towards the society increases now how can we ensure ethics at different steps of research these are the steps by which a researcher can promote ethics in his research work as he is accountable and responsible for each and everything so by adopting these steps he can say that in each and every step he has adopted the ethics in his work collect the facts and talk over intellectual belongings openly whatever data he is collecting whatever models on which he is working whatever topic he is taking objective framing of objectives aims of the research review of literature each and every step 
of the research should be properly communicated to the people who are there to him he should always talk openly with the society that this is the work he is going to do and how he can get the best result from it whatever data he is taking should be transparent and should be communicated to all who want that data outline the ethical matters there is a line of demarcation very minute line of demarcation about good and bad right and wrong so a researcher should know that what are the ethical matters what are the matter of importance to the society he should take these actions in a proper manner so that only the point should be raised which is for the welfare of the society detect the affected parties stakeholders means a researcher should know that who are the parties who are directly related with his research work and he should always work for the welfare of those parties recognize the responsibilities means he has to recognize the principles rights and justice of each and every person who are directly or indirectly related with the research because his results his analysis conclusions and suggestions are going to be adopted and will have got the impact on the society as a whole then contemplate your personality and truthfulness means here by adopting research ethics the personality and truthfulness of a person increases as the truthfulness of a person increases that truthfulness is being shown in his research work whatever data you are taking should have a proper impact on the analysis portion the statistical tools you are adopting should be well balanced with the data you are taking then respect privacy and confidentiality means here again i am saying time and again i am saying that a researcher should always respect the privacy of the respondent he should not disclose that who are the respondents because it's a privacy they have shared the data in the behavior studies they have told you about their behavior and thoughts so you have to take the data but you should avoid taking the name of an individual in your research work resolve on the appropriate ethical actions and be willing to deal with the divergent point of view means whenever there is a line of demarcation about right and wrong a researcher should have a proper competency to believe himself and take the best decision about the ethics that this is the right thing and i have to take that thing only i should avoid all the bad things from my research work i have to take what is acceptable to the society i should not show the things which is not being acceptable to the society because we are conducting a social or scientific study which is fruitful for the society as a whole so research ethics is all about doing your research work morally valuably and in a proper order which is good for the society now this is a reference you can take so you have seen that i have told you that research ethics is very important because if a researcher is adopting a proper ethics in his research work his research work is very useful for the society as a whole in guru granth sahib it has been told that a person should lead towards a welfare of the society as a whole thank you mm -hmm.